and future sales of an e-commerce platform. E-commerce platforms are becoming increasingly prevalent in the modern society. One way for these platforms and their vendors to gain a competitive edge is through future sales predictions. With knowledge of future sales, businesses have a benchmark to measure the value of their strategies and are able to optimize the allocation of their resources as well as goods procured. Our goal is to predict future sales given historical sales data of a particular e-commerce platform through the use of machine learning models and conclude which model best suits our purpose of time series forecasting. Before we embarked on machine learning, we tried classical methods such as Holt Winters and Arima, which use purely statistical techniques to give us a baseline standard for model performance. Holt Winters is an, is an exponential smoothing forecasting method, which accounts for data trends and seasonalities, and predicts based on an exponentially weighted sum of past observations. This diagram shows a snapshot of the predictions made by Holt Winters with a seasonal period of one week. One of the machine learning models used in this project is LSTM, which is short for Long Short Term Memory, and it is a form of recurrent neural networks. However, it uses sigmoid activation function as logical gates to solve the vanishing gradient problem that exists in traditional recurrent neural networks. Firstly, data is split into multiple time steps, and each time step consists of three features, the transaction count, hour of day, and day of the week. Each time step is fed into a single layer, and the output from the previous layer is also used as input for the current layer. Data is fed along layer by layer until it reaches the final output. The highlighted path in this slide is the cell state in which data from the previous time steps travels in. Logical gates implemented using the sigmoid activation function then controls how much data is allowed through. Value passing through the sigmoid activation function is multiplied with the value at cell state. This acts as a way to keep insignificant data away. Lastly, a hyperbolic tangent activation function is used to produce the output cell state. We find that neural networks do indeed provide a better result when compared against classical methods. Ensemble methods did provide the best result, although not far from other single neural network models such as the bi-directional LSTM and convolutional neural networks.